Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss the graph coloring technique in the backtracking design algorithm. What was a backtracking design algorithm? The backtracking design algorithm was that we incrementally, step by step, move towards a solution and whenever I reached a place or I reached a node or I reached a point where I did not get my solution or where I feel that going further from that point will not lead me to a solution what will do I do? I will backtrack because it is useless to go to those parts where you do not get a result or where you do not get an answer. So uh, this is a graph coloring technique is an application of backtracking design algorithm. Uh, so what basically graph coloring technique is, I have to color all my nodes, okay, and I have to color the, all my nodes of a graph in such a way that the adjacent nodes, that is two adjacent nodes, the nodes that lie uh, or that have an edge in between them they do not have the same color okay so uh, let my graph is equal to g v comma e that is set of vertices and edges and m is a positive integer so i have to color all my vertices of the graph okay i have to color all the vertices of my graph in such a way or you can say the nodes of a graph in such a way that no to no adjacent have same color and the number of colors that i have to use is only m suppose i have uh, m is equal to three so i have three colors say a b c and i have five nodes so i have to color these five nodes with these three colors in such a way that none of the nodes which are adjacent have the same color okay so this problem is also known as the M coloring decidability problem which you can call it by any name okay the problem basically asks for the smallest integer for which the graph can be colored okay so this integer is referred to as the chromatic number of the graph so here m is the chromatic number of the graph this m is the chromatic number of the graph that is the smallest number in which the graph can be colored now now what is a planar graph a graph is said to be planar if and only if none of its edges cross each other example i have this thing uh, this is a planar graph this is also a planar graph but suppose now i make an edge from if i have to make an edge from 2 to 3 i will make it in this way that is it is still a planar graph so none of the edges is intersecting each other okay we will represent the graph by adjacency matrix okay where uh, g of i comma j will be equal to 1 if i comma j belong to the set of edges and uh, this will be 0 otherwise okay that is if uh, if the i comma j edge belongs to the graph or it is 1 comma 3 suppose i say 1 comma 3 so what will i say that the graph uh, basically suppose i have to make an adjacency matrix for this graph so what i am going to do is i am going to make 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 so there is an edge between 1 to 1 no for first of all 0 0 0 0 then 1 to 2 and 1 to 3 so 1 to 2 1 to 3 then and 1 to 4 also that is if there is an edge between i comma j then i will write down 1 and if there is no edge between i comma j i will write down 0 so there's an edge between 2 and 1 there's an edge between 3 and 1 4 and 1 so i filled up this graph over here okay now one more way in which you can be given the question is you can have a graph an adjacency matrix or you can have a map so we have we know if, a, if I have a graph it is directly directly I can see if I have an adjacency matrix as we just saw we can convert them vice versa and now what what a map so suppose I have this map four five I suggest you to draw this side by side so that you also have a practice of it and 
you get well versed with the solution okay so number of nodes is equal to number of regions of this graph that is 1 2 3 4 5 so 5 5 regions so 5 nodes so i draw nodes in any manner say this you can take 4 here and 5 over here you can take anything hardly matters okay so now i will take the area that is common to one the boundary of one is touching which which cell it is touching four it is touching two it is touching three that is the adjacent nodes of one are four two and three so adjacent node of one is four two and three and one thing you have to keep in mind that you have to uh, take it planar only the edges should not intersect so the neighbors of two are four five three and one so four five three and one is already connected neighbors of three are one two and four one two and four neighbors of four are five two one and three five two one and three okay and neighbors of five are four and two yes only four and so that's my graph that is uh, converting a map into a graph okay so now what we are going to discuss uh, that was just a part of it basically now comes the actual uh, graph cutting problem that we have to solve not actually solve it's just a way of making a state space tree for the particular uh, backtracking technique all the backtracking techniques that we have used or you can say all the backtracking algorithms that we have followed whether it is mqueen whether it is now this m coloring basically the concept is that you have to make choices you have to traverse all the choices recursively and you have to keep going deeper and deeper into the graph and you have to find all the possible combinations and then you have two types of constraints implicit and explicit and implicit explicit means that you without any restrictions without restrictions you keep on finding the solution set but implicit is with restrictions example i have n is equal to 3 that is number of nodes is 3 and colors is also 3 number of colors is also 3 and i say that i have to color these n nodes with these m colors such that no two no two nodes no two adjacent nodes have the same color okay so what i do i start a space straight uh, space state tree okay so it has three options either x1 is equal to 1 x1 is equal to 2 x1 is equal to 3 that is color 1 color 2 or color 3 now if i have chosen x1 1 color right x1 has color 1 so now since it is an explicit condition for the tree explicit space state tree so i can have repeated colors for the nodes the condition is that the color should not be repeated okay this is this means implicit okay but when i'm making explicit explicit means what without any conditions without any restrictions that is i will not take my condition into consideration i will say that the colors can also be repeated so that is even after i have put color number one on node one it's adjacent node can also have the same color so that is the implicit way of solving the state space tree this will have three combinations further this also will go in the same manner here also x3 will be 1 x3 will be 2 x3 will be 3 the solution set is obviously x1 comma x2 comma x3 here it is it is with the explicit constraints now suppose here we had the implicit constraints so what we would do we would check the graph obviously okay so what we would do suppose uh, these two nodes were adjacent so i would not give color one over here because i have given color one to node this okay so i cannot give color one to a node which is adjacent to it so i will not use color one over here i will use only color two and three okay so this is all about the explicit and implicit constraints and that is all about the m coloring technique which is also known as the n colorability 
decision problem or the graph coloring in the backtracking algo design technique so i hope you understood and if you have any doubts or suggestions you can mail me at lastminutetutorials.com and guess one more thing i would like to tell you that the complexity of this algorithm is we go of m into n to the power m where m is the number of colors and n is the number of nodes okay so you can also mention any uh, suggestions in the comment section below and uh, please do like and share and subscribe to my channel for more videos okay and thank you for watching